welcome to another episode of the Philosophy Podcast. I am your host, Controversy, and to my right, ladies and gentlemen, my co-host, none other than Mr. Darren Love. And together, we are the Philosophy Podcast. Thank you to you guys for tuning in to a brand new episode. Thank you for tuning in once again this week, guys. And like we always say, what is on the agenda for this week, mate? What is today's hot topic? That's it. What are we talking about today, mate? I thought we'd talk about kindness today. Kindness. I like that. I think it's an interesting, you know, really like interesting that. and important subject, basically. I agree. I agree. So what are your thoughts and your opinions, mate, on kindness? Well, I think it's so it's very very important subject. I think kindness. You mm-hmm. know, I think it's something that everyone really needs to learn what kindness really is. Mm-hmm. Just like really what love really is and so on. You know, yeah. like what really is. You know, I mean, I think it's just worth talking about really mm-hmm. to sort of go deep into kindness, talk about it, and mm-hmm. see what we come up with basically. Yeah. Why not? Sounds like a good idea to me, man. Yeah. Um, what's your What's your? Well, I think kindness is so important. I think kindness, like, kindness is up for me personally, anyway. Kindness is up there with being polite, being respectful, being, um, you know, um, treating people the right way. If you see what I mean, with good intentions. If you see what doing I mean, doing the right thing. Doing the right thing. Um, kindness is up there to me. Is one of those things that is. To me, it's very important. Like, I love helping people wherever I can, personally. Like, even when I come out of the shop, even the other day I was with my kids, yeah? And my son's seen me do it plenty of times before, because he's been with me many times where I've done it before. But my daughter's never... Well, I think she's been with me once before, but she was a bit too young to even comprehend what was kind of going on. Um, but the other day I was coming out of the shop with my kids. we just done some shopping. There was a lady there that I could see she, you know, she could use a little bit of money. So the, bit, you know, the change that I got back from my shopping, which was a few quid, if you see what I mean, in change. I just got back from, you know, I paid cash for my shopping that day instead of, you know, instead of using my card. Um, so I got back a few pounds in change, and as soon as I came out, I realised, you know, I realised that she could use, you know, a little bit of help, you know, and if I give her a little bit of help and a few other people give her a little bit of help, it all helps, essentially, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I gave her some change, and then we was walking home, and, you know, to my son it was normal because like I said he's seen me do it many times before and he understands kind of why I do it you know I kind of you know explained to him a few times in the past kind of you know why I feel it's important um, and then my daughter funny enough was asking me about it because obviously now she's a little bit older and she can kind of comprehend kind of what was going on and kind of understood that I was helping this lady in some way you know um, so we were having a conversation about it and it was it was lovely just being able to explain to my children that it's a good for me personally like it's a good value to have in life to be able to help people and to bless people where you can even if you haven't got a lot you can still help people sometimes you know it's not always a monetary thing if you see it doing it right, yeah, you can you can there's lots of different ways you can help people and shit be like, kind you know? by, by what you say yeah you well not only that but sometimes you can see an old lady and you can see she's struggling and shit with her shopping you know what I mean? You can give her a hand, you know what I mean? I've done, I've done that before as well, like, you know what I mean? Like, but it's not like, just things like that, it's words of wisdom sometimes that can it, really save someone's life. Even you know? that too. Yeah. You see know what I mean? Mm. You, one kind thing can save someone's day, mm. change their life. Yeah, know? yeah. So. It's true. Mm. Yeah, because sometimes you get people up there that get, you know, that deal with, like, depression and other things too, like you're kind of saying to people that really struggle with their kind of like mental health and like low mood and all these different type of things that, you know, like well, sometimes like you said, all it takes is one kind person, you know, give, doing a kind gesture, you know, from genuine, you know, being genuine from their heart, you know, to help this person. And like you said, it makes them reevaluate, reevaluate how they look at people, if you see what I mean, you know, um, gives them hope. I guess, if you see what I mean, kind of gives some hope as to not everyone's a bad person, if you get what I mean, if you see what I mean, you know, because, you know, there are still good people out there. I mean, what kind of person are you? Right. What kind of person are you? Yeah, which you know, is interesting, kind of, isn't it? It is, isn't it? How, how they, fra- how how they, fra- how they fra- frame it like that, that's very interesting that yeah. you said that, mate. Yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. you know, what, what, because kindness can be wickedness, mm-hmm. real wickedness, yeah. you know, it's good, it, it's... Like I say, if, if people are doing it for their own, um, you know, pur- 
viruses. Mm. Or, yeah, it's kind of like a wicked thing. It turns into wicked, yeah. you see. Mm. Where people are doing it because they generally want to help people, but they don't want anything in return. That's kindness, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, you can help a tramp and give him some money, but he might say, you know, buy some drugs or some help or kill himself. So are you really helping them at the end of the day? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you really got to look at kindness in a funny... Because I think, like, a lot of people are kind because they get paid to be kind at work. They have to smile, do what they're taught. But they don't really want, you know, they get paid to smile. Do you know what I mean? Or smile, you know. Some people enjoy their jobs. Yeah, true, yeah. They like... What they do. Well, like you said, not for not for everyone. It's not genuine for everyone. Some people are putting on a front, like you're saying, like yeah. putting on a face. If you see yeah. Well, I, I, I personally, um, I, I thought, which is not yeah. which is what you should do anyway. Let's be honest, because even if you're not, even if even if it's not genuine, you should still do that. Because at the end of the day, if you're going to have a job, you the whole goal of being employed is to be professional. Yes. If you see what I mean. So if you're not going to be professional, then what's the point? Whether it be real or fake, if you get yeah, well, if you employ a hundred people, you you want them all to be kind, exactly, yeah, you know, and smiles to the customers, and that's it. And what kind of job it is, mm. you know. Mm. I mean, me myself, I have done a number of different jobs in my lifetime. Mm. I've done. I worked on building sites. I worked in um, retail a bit, you know, and I worked in catering as well, and I've done removals, and I used to do meet so many different people in removals, you know, in my job, you know, in mm. d delivering, sorry, moving different people, you know, and sometimes I move rich people, some poor, you know, and I met all kinds of people, you know, there, you know, there's, there you go, I think there's lots of different kinds of people out there, isn't it, you know, and they've all got different understanding, understanding of what kindness actually is as well, because some people don't know what kindness is either, mm. I think, that's what I believe. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't even know what kindness is. Mm. That's the truth. Mm. I agree. And, um, I sadly, think that's why sadly, I think it's, Well, I think it's an interesting subject to talk about. You know, yeah. some act, some people can act. Mm. And, um, but you always get that. You've got people who get, like, ulterior motives, as they would say. Yeah. And, you know, they, it's not genuine. You know, they're, they're being kind um, for their own benefit. In the long run, if that makes sense, you know. Because at the end of that, it's like there's people out there that try to befriend millionaire people. You don't think that happens? You don't think there's average people out there, average Joes out there every day, that might know one of his, you know, someone that he knows or it's not been really that close with throughout their life. Where all of a sudden this guy that he knows has become a millionaire, and now all of a sudden this guy wants to start, you know, being his best mate, his best brother, and and being kind with him and. and Pretending to, you know, because he knows he's got money now, so if he's kind with him and he does certain things, he might reciprocate it and it might be even more beneficial for him because this guy's got more money than him. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly, people, like you're saying, there's so many so many different instances and examples out there. Well, there are different um, kinds of people out there. Like I said, I, I did removals and I met all different types of people. Yeah. All kinds of people. Yeah. Some rich people are kind. Yeah. And they've got good hearts. Mm -hmm. Some people understand what kindness is. You know, some rich people that is. And then some poor people have got a clue, you know, and they're quite rooted, do you know what I mean, and whatever. Mm. And they don't know what kindness is, and they're not kind to people at all. Mm. They're quite wicked, you know. But you get some poor people, you know, they've got no money, but they know what kindness is. Yeah, true. Yeah. You know, some people know, and some people don't know what kindness is, I think, you know. Mm. I kind of understand what kindness is a little bit more than others, you know. I feel like I'm still learning in life about it, whatever, you know. But I can see out there a kind of... Because at the end of the day, we're not really living in a kind world, are we? No. It's all to do with sort of like backhanders or whatever, or money or whatever, or yeah. business world again. We're but, talking but about at, business at, world. At, at, at the same time, I think we live, because of the digital age that we live in today with social media and shit, right? I do find that the bad shit tends to get magnified more than the good shit. Oops. So every now and again, you see videos of people doing good shit, yeah? yeah. But... There's also, you know, the bad shit outweighs the good shit, if that makes sense. It's funny it. though, people like seeing the bad shit. And that, but that's why, that's and, and, funny and that's why it ends up getting magnetised, if you see what I mean. So instead of all the good shit being spread and magnetised, people tend to share the bad shit, all the horrible shit, you know, awful shit that's happened, and, mm. you know, controversial shit, if you see what I mean, instead of 
you know, positive, uplifting, you know. Mm. You know. So, I mean, it's some, it's, you know, some people pay for some good films, don't they? And they like to see as much fighting as possible, and the fighting's got to be as good as possible, do you know what I mean, for them to be entertained. Yeah, yeah. And it's quite funny, they are actually mm. paying for this kind of entertainment in a funny way. Mm. And it's kind of like they're watching a kind of wicked world that would give them kind of nightmares at the end of the day, do you know what I mean? You know, yeah. I'm just sort of thinking, we're, we're, we're not really, the business world, is that kind or is it not? Is it, is it or isn't it? No, uh, um, I think it can be, I think it can be to a degree, but I think predominantly no. no. Because the business world is kind of like uh, a wicked place, I think. It's like, like it's like being in a shark tank, if you see what I mean. It's like being a sh being you get a ill, you can lose your business, you know, yeah. straight away and things like that, you know, and mm. all kinds of things. The business know. world is very cutthroat. Yeah. Um, a lot of people will literally have, in the business world, most of the time, self interest. Obviously, people have their own interest at heart. All to do with profits. It's all to do with self interest and, and profits. Yeah, how much they can benefit, you know. I mean, that's the biggest margin of all, you know. But business is all to do with making profits. Yeah. At the end of the day, do you mm. know what I mean? You know, yeah. and it's not about people, it's about profit. About profits, yeah, exactly. At the end of the day. Well, it is about people because they need people to make profits, if you see what I mean, you know. Well, like you said, the main focus is profits, if you see what I mean. It's marketing, creating marketing um, channels and different things in order to market products to make, to make people buy shit that they don't really need. And then you, once you can start convincing people to buy shit that they don't need on a regular basis, then your company will continue to make money. That's just the reality, because a lot of stuff today that gets sold, people don't generally need. Okay, just for a, an example, and I'm not targeting Apple or any of these companies because I'm just going to use Apple as an example. I just want people to think to say. I just want to say that I'm not targeting, you know, this co this company in particular. I'm just using it as an example. Target. It's like that is targeting. No, it's just an example. <laughs> if you buy the okay, I won't even use Apple. Let's say for example, I'm just going to get I, I get any brand name, any company. Let's just say a company. A company released a phone this year that's the newest best greatest thing to come out okay mobile phone you buy it you're happy with it it's great great service great internet great social media great apps great everything you want you know great camera great sound great everything next year they come out with another phone yeah that's right next phone Meanwhile, your phone is still in good, very, you know what I mean, not, in, 10 months later, they're releasing a new phone, not even a year sometimes goes by, 10 months later, new phone comes out. Yeah, I know, it works, they do everything. And then, but the thing is, be, be, a large models, majority of, uh, but I'm just using it as an example, a yeah. large majority of people will have a good working phone, nothing wrong with it, they put it in a case, from the time they bought it, they put it on a case, they bought like a screen protector to protect the screen, and they got it in a case. So God, God forbid that the odd thing does happen where they might drop it or something might happen, it's protected and nothing ever happens to it. And it's, everything's working, it's great, still working fine a year later, no problem, still happy with it. But because this company comes out with this phone and markets it really, really well to you to make you believe that you now need this new upgraded thing, if you see what I mean, this, even though this whole time you've been happy with what you've got, and nothing's wrong with it. But now, because of how they've marketed it to you, you believe that you have to get it. Yeah. Most people fall for the trap. Oh, yeah. People like me and you can read between the lines, and other people too, of course, can read between the lines. Mm. And Be see, happy with what you got. And see the trap. Yeah. And understand that it's just yeah. marketing in order yeah. to make profits, exactly what you say. So, yeah. Yeah, I think, I mean, like me or I, I've, I've my computer's five years old, six years old yeah, now, yeah. I'm not going to upgrade it, yeah. and I'm not going to upgrade any of the software on it, I'm happy with what I've got, yeah. Yeah. And I don't care what comes out, yeah. I mean I'm happy mm. that my software can do the job, you know, mm. Mm. if you sort of mean all I can do with what, what, what I've got, yeah. I don't yeah. want to upgrade anymore, you know, because I know that they might, you know, improve it slightly, but I just don't think they're going to, you know, improve it too much, no. you, sort of mean, no. you know, and I just feel like, I'm happy with what I got. Yeah. You know, I'm happy with the phone I got, and I just don't want to change it for you know. It, it, it's, it's. I'm happy with what I got, basically. 
you sort of thing. Mm. And I think that's the problem with a lot of people, they're never happy with what they've got at that. Yeah. But that's the trouble, yeah. They always want more, if you mm. sort of mean, you mm. know, and all they think the other person's got more than what they've got and all this kind of stuff, you know, there's mm. that kind and of And I think also there's as well there's and a bit of an illusion sometimes as well where people think that by buying more material things it'll make them happier. Yeah, but it doesn't. So splurging on themselves and going out and going you know spending loads of money on you know whatever and just for re retail therapy as they call it you know some people they, you know joke. there's all kind of different personalities out there you know some people actually hoard things you know because the, yeah they've got different mental disorders and mm. things you know whatever some people collect certain things you know where life you know and it's their hobby, you know, but yeah. we, we've all got our hobbies in life in a funny way, you know, but some people, they buy stuff to impress their friends yeah. a bit, you know, they want to sort of like, when when their friends come around, oh, look at me, I've got a, all this stuff, you know, yeah. whatever, you know, and I don't know, do you know what I mean? But we're living, in the kind of, yeah. we're living in that kind of world, really, where people get jealous of each other. Mm. It's a bit wicked, isn't it? It's yeah. not kind, is it? Let's put it this way. We're not really living in a kind world. Well, yeah. I don't feel. Yeah. Not as kind as it could be. Should be. Or yeah. used to be. Maybe you know. Maybe the world used to be kinder. I don't know. Mm. Or maybe the world used to be more wicked. I don't know. Because yeah. when you look at history, when they used to cut people's heads off. Goodness. All sake. I mean, they don't do this anymore. Do they? Yeah. Well, they do, but yeah. You know, I mean, I don't hear about it. You know, but in this country, they used to cut people's heads off. Yeah, yeah. So, or, or hang, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? All sorts of shit, mate. And yeah, all torture, and even mm -hmm. you know, all kinds of things, you know. But that's all gone now, you know. It's a bit more. It is a bit more kind in the world, I think. You know, that medieval world's gone. Well, we live in a world today that's kind of supposed to be based upon law and order. Yeah. And this is why the world has become a bit kinder as well. When you introduce moral relativism, yeah, which is morality essentially, the idea of having a moral society governed by law and order, where we have rules and regulations and laws in order to protect each other, yeah, and well, we um, have to have that really. Don't we? Well, that's what I'm saying. This is, this is the, but that's what I'm saying because we live in. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm explaining why I think personally the world is kinder today. Um, because obviously we have these systems in place, we have structure in place. I see kindness and wickedness. I see the world's got more wicked in some ways. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It depends how you look at it, you see. Mm. You know? mm. I feel like, has it got our people? Because I, I, I look like 100 years ago, I think people were more social back then, you see. There wasn't any TV getting in the way, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, the, the neighbours used to talk a little bit more, do you know what I mean? Mm. And, all that. and they used to sort of like get together a little bit more. But now we're living in this world where there's lots of channels, really, isn't there? To watch lots of different channels, mm. lots of different sports, lots of entertainment, basically. And I think, like, we're not like living like we used to. Mm. You know, this electricity world what evolved to what we've got today because everyone really relies on electricity, including myself. You know what I mean? You know, mm. it it gives us power. Yeah, cool. literally and it also gives power to people with their businesses yeah you know, to operate yeah. machines and print out whatever you know make it huge their business and even the entertainment you know it's all run by electricity really you know like cinemas the whole lot of it you know it's all done by electricity and i think like it wasn't like this a long time ago you know like a, a hundred years ago one like this 200 years ago one I mean, this is a modern world with invented telly, TV, and electric, and all these gadgets in the last hundred years, for goodness sake, you know. This is all quite in its youth, really, you know. And I just feel like we've invented all this stuff, you know, now we've got it everywhere around us, you know. And it's, it's really messing the world up in a big way. You know, nature's disappearing slowly, the birds are disappearing. I know that I might repeat myself in it. Um, you know, but that, this is the truth of the matter. Yeah, yeah. You know, the insects are disappearing, all the hedgehogs, hedgehogs are going, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, and are we intelligent? Because we, you know, we, 
we invent a, a, the motor machine, you know, and everyone driving along, mm. they think they're intelligent because they can drive. Yeah. Know? And it is an intelligent thing to do. Mm. You know, you've got to be intelligent to drive. Mm -hmm. You really have. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, a wise person would never drive. You know, it's just too dangerous. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm. You know, so is it intelligent to drive? No, it's not. Mm. It's not sensible. You know, because when you do get in a car, it's a dangerous machine. You're operating something that can kill nature, you know, head yeah. off, no. whatever, or a person, or yourself. Yeah, true. You know, if you're going at quite a fast speed, whatever, yeah. a, a tire might go, mm. or whatever. Yeah. You know, God knows what happened, right? But it happens to thousands of people around the world, you know, daily, you know, accidents. And it's it's not a kind world, you know. Nobody's kind, you know. I I, I mean, me personally, right? I've never driven a car, right? Because I've always loved insects, so I'm a little bit different to everyone else. You know what I mean, I, I think about the ants. You know what I mean? I always have fun, you know. And I can't help feeling for ants. Mm. You know, I used to study them when I was a little boy. Mm. Look down for them, you know. And they're a little bit like humans, funny enough, you know. And they even bury, you know, not bury the dead, sorry. They they treat their dead. If any ant is dead there, they will take it to the graveyard, you know, and the graveyard's at the entrance where everyone's leaving. Okay, yeah. You know, so that, that's where, that's, you know, not, not all ants. I, I mean, I don't know about every ant, you know, but that's what I know, that ants do bury their dead, you know what I mean? They, mm -hmm. they look after the dead. Mm -hmm. And they look after the young, just like people do, do you know what I mean? But people... They've got all this paperwork here, do you know what I mean? And this business world, which somebody's created a long, long time ago, do you know what I mean? And it's, it's exploded into a monster where everyone's trying to earn a living. But they're not worried about nature anymore, yeah. in a funny way. You know, some, some businesses do. Yeah, of course, yeah. You know, there, there's some, I mean, business, you know, there's the gardening, the gardening business, do you know what I mean? Mm. You know, all landscaping and you know, business world is... Huge, yeah, cool, yeah. And it's sort That's of like cool. you've got the entertainment world, you mm. know, you've got what else world, you've got the medical world, yeah. I don't feel like it's all working together, you know. Sometimes, you know, all these things, you know, like we, they say we're all united together, let's all fight the virus, we're united and all that, but we're not, we're all completely separated, if you ask me, exactly, we're all divided into pieces, you know. I mean, it's like this town which I'm living in here. No. They celebrate Christmas on the 25th of November and they have a big carnival down there every year, you know. And all the children, they love it. You know, they put boxes on them and lights. And it's, big, it's quite noisy, you know, and it's all cut down, shut down, sh sorry, shut down basically. And then, that's it, you know, that's, you know, four weeks before Christmas. Yeah, it's crazy to me. And then Christmas Day, mm. nothing. Yeah. No celebrations. You know, they, I mean, people are celebrating in their personal life. Right? Yeah, in their own personal homes. Yeah, some people are happy. On Family Christmas and Day. friends and... Children are happy generally, you know. But some, yeah. some old people are very lonely, you know. Sad Christmas Day, if you ask me. You know? mm. I mean, I feel like they had their party here yesterday. Yeah. They celebrated Christmas Day. Well, I just don't understand why they're doing it so well. Like I said... Uh, like I said to you earlier, like, it's I just, all business again, you know, it's all to do with money, make, I reckon. But that's what it's to do partly. with it. No, exactly, exactly, you know, that's a large majority, yeah, yeah. Partly, it's all to do with making a bit of money here and there, you know, because I mean, I walked down my street yesterday, you know, and this lady was selling these Christmas puddings, you know, they really did look good. Yeah. But they were like £28. Oh, wow. And I thought, I can't afford that, you know, I'd rather go there, you know, and I know that you've probably got really top ingredients in there, but... Yeah, you know, that's a high price. Yeah, so that's expensive. You know, but these markets are down there. They were selling, you know, pretty expensive stuff. If you ask well, that's me. what it is. It's usually overpriced. Yeah. High inflated prices. Then they so. had a fairground down the little, you know, right down the end here, you know, where they probably charge a pound for a ride. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. all to do with profit making. Out. You know, the children they love it. Yeah. They have a good time. You know, and the the adults all take. I, I'm quite happy to go and do that bit with my kids, but yeah. all the rest of it, I, I you know. I can see, you know, the little children loving it all, you know, these little carnivals and that, but, you know, it was quite noisy, you know, I had to shut my windows, um, <laughs> I couldn't sleep, 
put it that way, you know. Mm. But anyway, you know, I understand that other people celebrating, you know. So, but is it kind at the end of the day, all of this, you know? Because, but so I mean, even noise pollution that disturbs people a lot. Yeah. Some people more than others, depending on where you live, you know. Mm. But noise waking people up. You know, sleep is so important. Like I've said previously, if you don't get sleep, you're not going to be so affected the next day as a person or as a human being. Mm. You know, you're more likely to make more mistakes the next day. Yeah. It's like drinking, really, you know. Mm. So, you know, and I think children at school need to be te taught about kindness, you yeah. know. Because mm. I don't think a lot of people see what kindness is, you, you know, because... Only if, you know, because a person is smiling and doing nice things for you, they might be doing it for their own reasons, you know, wicked reasons, if you sort of mean. Mm. And there's a lot of people out there, a lot of snakes, yeah. if you sort of mean, trying to get a bit of money out of you. you That's know. it. It's such a wicked world, really, you know, because at the end of the day, everyone's got to earn a living. And some people are in a good place in their life and some people aren't. And those people that aren't, they might start doing something bad, if you sort of mean, you know, going into prostitution or whatever, you know, and so on, and doing the wrong thing, basically, you know, to earn some money because that's all they can do, you know, because there's nothing else, if you sort of mean, you know, because, there was, you know, there's only so many jobs out there, isn't there, do you know what I mean, you know, and um, if there's no jobs around, you've got to do something else to earn money some money somehow 